So in this episode, I'm going to jump ahead because I have worked my way up to over 10,000 dinars, repeating essentially the same things over and over. Now, I'm at 40%. Leslitz at 30%. If you look at my party, uh, you'll see I put about five infantry with my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven companions. And then I put after that uh, about um, five or six archery or crossbow units, <coughs> then uh, some Swadia knights. And then after that, all my mounted units as backup. And then a uh, leftover warriors and archers to replace any that I lose. So right now I got five and five, and my companions are helping with the front line, uh, I guess, infantry or ground units. Eventually, a lot of those companions, I want to mount them. Uh and you'll also notice that I'm at 10,560 dinars. So I'm going to try and get another thousand here, show you what I'm doing. So um, the first thing is when I notice that I'm at 40%, I just hunt for tournaments to go fight in. So I'll walk over to Ravidin, which was captured, by the way. I'm at ninth level, 11,989 experience, uh, 20 out of 50 health, and I need 13,010 to get to level 10. My strengths at 15, agility is at 12, intelligence 7, charisma 8. I'm going to increase the charisma one more, and then I'll, I'll add a couple to intelligence to begin to improve my skills more. Uh, increasing the charisma and I'll increase the leadership to help the cost of my party, which is up to 834 dinars with a total of 36 uh, people, including me. All right, Ravidin was captured first by one group and then by another. So essentially... Um, these guys lost their capital to the Swadians. Uh, somebody's fighting somewhere. You could tell by the sound. I don't know if it's loud enough. I don't see where the fighting's at. Usually there's an X over there, too. Uh, after the battle, anyway. All right, let's go to the arena. I'm only at 40%. You can see my... Uh, actually, yeah, so you can see my red bar uh, is not... It's less than half. All right, they know me here, and I will fight in a round. All right, I blocked two shots, and then uh, he got the first hit on me. And I talked to the guy, will there be a tournament? He says, Cura, Workchag, and Durkuba. I don't want to go too far, so I'll go to Workchag. I've been working on clearing out the um, Sea Raiders and whoever else was in the Sea Raider area. And that's how I got my damage. And I made a lot of my money just defeating groups uh, and selling their equipment. So as you can see, I'm at 48% now because I heal as I'm traveling.
So I don't know what uh, the Nords are doing here. In fact, um, I think I'm on day, let's see, I'm on day 92 or 93 at this point. And um, if we look at the reports, actually the notes, game log, June 22nd, the year 1257. And for the factions, the Kyrgyz Kanad is at war with Swadia and at war with the Vagars. The Nords um, are not fighting anybody. The Rodox are at war with the Saranid Sultanate. And I believe that covers pretty much what's going on. And I'll head to Word Chag. So I've been selling some goods, but you see here 18 C Raiders, and I have 36 troops. Even though Alain's at 53%, Leslitz at 44, and I'm at 52, I'm going to chase those guys. How did you like in the last video where my horse got taken out? And I was on the ground fighting. If you look, I've got a thick Nordic shield, which can take 487 damage, has resistance 3, size 100, and speed rating 100. And that shield pretty much saved my life, in the I believe, in the last video. And again, I jumped forward a little bit. I've been playing the game a bit. I did record a lot of this, but I don't think you just want to watch me doing the same things over and over. So using the tracking, I could probably locate those people. I'll go to war check. I, I lost that group. I wasn't paying attention. But that's fine. I need to heal anyway. And one of the advantages of traveling like this, again, is that while I'm traveling, I'm also healing. And... I saw a group of six there. Six Sea Raiders. I should be able to handle that. Uh, there's the 18 down there. Let me chase them. If I leave these groups alone, they're just it's just going to get worse and worse. I'm at 60% now. So... I'm going to, and this is where I'm making a lot of my money is chasing these sea raiders down. And I'm getting I'm wounded. You will drink from my skull. I'm not afraid of you. I will fight. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to rinse and repeat. Charge, F1, F1, 1, F2, F1. You see them coming anywhere? Uh, three, F1, I'll put the cavalry on the other side. Where are they at? Zero, everybody, F1. F1, F3, charge. Let's watch where everybody goes. There they are. Try to get some of them to target me. Oh, 
get the sword out. Goodness, that was again badly done. And resulted in three killed. A Nord trained footman, a Nord footman, and a Nord warrior. And you see all the red here? But the good news is that these guys don't die. So it seems like them getting wounded works okay. That's a good Nordic sword. 16 boots plus 36 helmet. See, uh, you get some of the best equipment out. Now, what I do, um, I go to the most wounded and see what equipment he has. And I improve the most wounded's equipment first. So he can get 16 boots. That's an improvement over his plus 15. His sword is a good sword. I give him, instead of the battered Nordic shield, I'm going to give him the regular one. The battered has 414 with no resistance, and this one has 440 with one resistance. So that's an improvement. Um, does he have plus one arrows? Yeah. 36.3. And his helmet is 25. This helmet is 36. So I'll give him the 36 helmet, which is an improvement. So Leslet is improved, and I'm going to move him down to the bottom. Hopefully that'll give him a chance to heal. Uh, then there's Ralph. He's at 10%. He has 16 boots, Nordic shield, a good sword, good helmet. Uh, Patterned leather, 24-7 is not that great, but we don't have anything better to replace it with. All right, we will move him down to join Ferentis at the back there. Uh, I'm, I mean, um, Ralph and Leslet. Parentis has a level. All right, let's check his equipment. 14, we'll replace it with 16 boots. So now Parentis has 16 boots. He has a 38 helmet. Mm. Yep, I don't, 198, sword, 276. So I'll replace his sword. 29 swing, 21 thrust. He gave up a 28 swing, 20 thrust. So that's an improvement. One more damage on the swing and on the thrust. And his skills, Ferentis, he gets a level. Uh, his strength is 11. I will move it up to 12. And so I'll add one to his power strike. I like to max out their power strike. And everybody's using the one-handed weapon, so I up that as much as possible. I'll move Ferentis down to the bottom as well. And now Artemener, let's see what he has. 16 boots, 23, 6. 38 helmet, and a chipped Nordic sword. All right, we can go sell the rest of this. Oh, let's, um, yeah, let's move Artemener. We'll leave the people above 60% up there.
and I need about 900 for the next level. I'm at 64%. I will um, join the tournament first. Good. So we can sell the Sea Raiders we got. That's 400 right there. That's half of my weekly cost right there for my troops. Well, actually, let me go back in the tavern there. Just looking to see who's in here. All right, and out of the marketplace, the arms. So we got about 400. So there we get 215. So that's about three quarters now of what we needed for the troops. And then the armor, 121. So most of what we needed for the troops was just purchased, was just gotten. Now salt is good at 96, so we'll go in uh, and 100. We can go and sell that nearby. And actually, cheese is pretty good at 42. So I'll take 42, 44, and 45, and actually 47. Fish at 18 is good. As long as it's under 30, it's pretty good. I'll take all of them. And cabbage is decent at 18. So now we spend 458. Let's head up to Kira and see if we can sell what we got. Oh, we do need some Nords to replace our troops. So actually, let's stop in Jayek. Because look, in the party... Um, I had five, uh, infantry here, and now I'm down to three, so I definitely need more ground troops. So recruit volunteers, I got five recruits. So now we're back up a little bit, 38 out of 51. Put the Nord recruit, and I'm going to move the Nord warriors up with the mercenary swordsman and the Nord veteran. Okay, and then um,
Gonna work my way over to Kuro. Going this way, I most of the Sea Raiders are the other direction. So you see I'm at 10,150. I would like to be at about 11,000 before opening a business. Businesses cost about 10,000. My renown's up at 85. My honor's at two. Party morale, 61. Party size limit is 51. Every 25 on the renown gives me another one that I can add into my party. Those are manhunters off in the distance. Okay, well, let's see what we can sell in Kuro. If I remember correctly, salt uh, will sell at a decent price. There, 260, we got the salt for 100. So 260 and 249. The cheese we got for under 50 and it's at 86, 84, 82, 80. And the fish were less than 30 and they're selling 52, 50 and 46 and three of them's been eaten from the fish. And right there we get 989 dinars. So we pretty much doubled our money. Um, nothing here that's a really good price. So now we're at 11,000. So I feel confident at 11,000 of starting a business. Because my party costs 822, 10,000 is what a business usually costs. Now, looking I try to I'm going to try and pick somebody that I would join later. I don't want to join the strongest countries because my helping them is just going to make them even more dominant. So, for example, the Kyrgyz Kanate uh, seems to have uh, all their cities plus a little bit more. The Saranid Sultanate has all their cities. Uh, they seem to be about the same size. The Rodox seem to be pretty close to the same size. The Swadians captured Raven Inn. So they're expanded, which is a pretty big deal. And the Nords... Uh, they seem pretty close to where they were at. And the Vagers, they definitely, they lost a city. And not only that, but I believe Sungatek Castle used to be theirs. So, and I think, yeah, so. In fact, I can go into Kuro right now and, uh, Take a walk around the streets. When you go to war, your businesses get shut down where you're at war. So I want to be uh, have most of my businesses where we won't be at war. So I'm going to um, first use the country that I think I might join. Because, of course, I'll never be at war with them. And so my businesses will always be open in that country. So I need to find the elder.
Any of you know where the uh, the guild master's at? Here he is. All right, F. He says, "Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Kuro. New to Kuro. I am the guild master of the town. I'll say I wish to buy land in this town for productive enterprise." He says, very good, sir. We in the guild know and trust you, and I think I could find someone to sell you the land you need. All right, now usually the weavery and dye works to make velvet from silk and dye is often the best investment. It will cost me 10,000 dinars. That's why I got mine up to 11,000. He guesses my profit will be 414 dinars a week. So in 20, a little more than 20 weeks, I will make back my money. And 414 dinars a week will be half of what my units cost. So once I get two businesses going like this, that will be enough to support my war band. So yes, usually... They don't get better than over 400 dinars a week. All right, we now have a business. Uh, I'll, let's try this tournament. Oh. All right. Got his sword. Where are they at? There. And that, my friends, is that. All right, I'm injured coming into this. I'm at like, what was I, 60%? Two teams with seven fighters each. Well, my horse took damage. I need a sword. Somebody have a sword over here? Uh, he got me. Oh well, the bows are not as easy to fight with. Having a problem with those. If any of you have a strategy for use with the bows, let me know. All right, I'm at 78%. Let's go find somebody to fight. And this is pretty much selling a little bit, uh, fighting people in these areas. If I'm a little weaker, I'll go up here and look around a little bit. I think they're called forest bandits. All right, let's see if we can find a small group of um, sea raiders.
Right now, my money is at 11, 1,139. So I would like to defeat a group and use their equipment. This is a little bit quicker than tr going around the cities and trading. And uh, I do believe gaining the experience is an advantage for my troops and me. All right, eight sea raiders. I think we can do that. I'm a 92%. I'm not afraid of you. I'll fight. All right. This should go well, I hope. Charge the enemy. F1, F1. Uh, let's see. 1, F2, F1. Let me get them up this hill. Where is that? Somebody shot at me. Zero, F1, F3. If they're shooting at me, they're not shooting at my people. So I don't mind drawing their fire a little bit. I can't believe they're faster than my horse. I lost one of my recruits. Seven of them have been killed. Now, I like taking the Manhunters because they're cavalry, and because they don't belong to a country, they won't leave me when I'm at war with the country. All right, none of this is really that good. Let's go to Rivicheg and sell this stuff. Well, no. Let's go back to Wurcheg. Twenty-four and twenty. Whoa! This is where they're coming from. How do you think we do against twenty-four? They're running away from us. If they attacked us, we'd probably have a problem since people are wounded still. Think we should attack that Sea Raider landing? And he's still here, the ransom broker. So... The Sea Raider gives us 112. I'm at 98%. That's 33 dinars. And then 92 dinars.
Should I go help Jarl Iria? Usually we get points with people if we help them. All right, no, he won. All right. Let's uh, continue to find groups of sea raiders. I'm going to wait till my companions are at a higher percent. Nine Nord warriors. I think we can defeat these nine warriors. Uh, they don't have any archery units, so that's an advantage. They're moving at 3.4. We're moving at 3.4, so not great. Uh, let's follow these 14 Sea Raiders. He's moving at 5.5. We're moving at 5.6. In theory, we should catch him. We're getting closer and closer. Today, the gods will decide your fate. I'm not afraid of you. I'll fight. All right, F1, F1. Then um, one, F2, F1. Oh, there they come. Zero, F1. F3. Whoa. Three of them. At least they're firing at me rather than my troops. No casualties, 12 of them killed. That was a good one. Uh, this Bernie is 39... Six, which is 45, and this is 45. I think I like the 39, six more. And a 38 helmet, somebody will need that. People advanced in level, and if you look, we're at eight hundred. Uh, we're at fifteen ninety-two dinars, and they only cost eight thirty-one. So we're almost double our weekly cost now. We have several people who have gained levels, um, and I'm going to go through the party, and I'm going to start by looking at the most wounded people and look at what equipment they need and then sell the equipment. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just fighting over here, selling equipment, people, and working myself up to 10,000 for a business. And so um, I expect to pick up again later when I uh, advance further in level and the businesses. Thank you.